today we will be discussing about coastal erosional and deposition landforms okay i think from your uh, class al already must have discussed about this topic okay. right coastal geomorphology so and today landforms. we will be discussing about coastal erosional and deposition yes, landforms okay somewhat okay i think from your uh, so class all in case already of must coastal geomorphology topic, right? you know coastal that coastal continental geomorphology and landforms you have knowledge on the morphology of uh, ocean yes ma'am somewhat like it has a continental somewhat. shelf okay. it has a continental so, slope and in case of coastal geomorphology we don't have to discuss you know here i'm just continental talk, talking about it so you, you have continental knowledge on the morphology of part ocean. of the continental upper like portion it has a continental that is where shelf. the major continental coastal slope erosional and continental, and continental erosional 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 land that we don't have to discuss here i'm just talking, talking, right, talking about it so in the continental so shelf looking at what all the part of the continental which is upper affecting portion, the coastal that is where the major coastal erosional and depositional landforms are forming right taking place so let's look into the what all the factors which is affecting the coastal geomorphology just a second just a hold yeah. just a second so what we yeah coastal geomorphology so there are certain things will uh, affect the certain uh, factors yeah. which affect the geomorphology uh -huh. right coastal geomorphology i think so many are joined today so what we yeah. yeah coastal geomorphology coastal geomorphology so there are certain so these are the some factors certain and forces uh, that factors which affect the geomorphology right? coastal, coastal geomorphology yeah. so do you know any coastal it? features like you must have gone yeah. through so many things right coastal Can geomorphology tell any so coastal these are the features, some coastal factors in the and forces the morphological that features the associated with the coastal, coastal features yeah do you know any coastal features like you must have gone through so many anyone things, not right me. can you tell any coastal features coastal okay. features in the sense so the morphological the features associated with the coastal land the coastal landforms or coastal geomorphology hmm? are waves tides any one or current. two so different currents ocean current include okay. the longshore current and rip so current the factors and forces under so which gravity the coastal landforms or climate and biological waves factors so tides are the factors longshore which current. current so different currents formation or different geomorphological features so let's under look into the waves. gravity waves are Obviously, Climates how do the waves are generated? Factors. So huh? these are the factors. The waves are generated because of the formation or the different geomorphological features. Uh, so like let's look into the types waves. of waves. Are waves are there. so the waves. How do the waves, the waves are, are originated on the huh? surface of the, the waves are generated because, because the of the wind blowing? Okay. You must have so known there is there a frictional so force in between uh, the. Like different surface, types of waves, like surface are there. and the water, so the waves are and the commonly okay, so the waves because of that frictional force, the, the, the wind is creating. Because and along with as the, the wind is blowing, there are other factors. So there like, is a frictional uh, force in between, like the Coriolis force, surface, all those factors, like surface, surface well and the water surface and the wind wave okay, generation. So because of the that frictional force, force, the wind is or the main cause for along with the wave generation, force, in there are other factors because like the blowing. Okay. Like Coriolis so force, waves, all those factors as so well affect the this wave can transport wave generation, so but the main sediments as well as it can force, transport or the as main well cause for the wave generation deposit the sediments is right because of the blowing wind right okay so by usually along the coastal region, region, sediment so waves are this wave can transport so many sediments as well as it can transport as well as sediments. Deposit. So, so let's look the, into the long shore right. current. This is the second factor. Right. So long shore current. Usually along the coastal current, ocean region, current, it is waves known as are current. the causes for current the deposition and case of transportation the of the huge water body is sediments. moving. So that is so called. So let's look into the current. long shore current. This is the so second factor. So long shore current. Is it is a current ocean current. It is shore. known as current. Okay. Why, you are getting it right. What I am speaking. In case of ocean, the huge water body is moving. So that is called. Current. So the longshore current. So what is it is longshore current is, is always parallel, parallel to the, to the coastal region. Okay, you're getting it right. The coastal shore. And this is how it That's is moving. moving. There is a in so in the longshore current. You must have heard of splash and backwash. It is have always parallel to the, the coastal splash and backwash. I mean the coastal shore. Hmm. And so consider this is how the coastal region. region. There is a, you know, you've heard of you splash and backwash. Back 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 have you heard? Actually, this is the major splash and backwash. It is, it is hmm? involved in the longshore current. So Actually, consider this is the coastal region. The longshore current. Act. You never heard. See, this is the wind splash direction, and, back, and this is the direction of movement. Actually, this is the major, which is parallel to the coastal region. It is this 
it is uh, involved in the long yellowish color actually, is the cause of region the long show current C. act so this See, will be this is a wind direction the movement, and this is the direction of the parallel to the coastal current region which is and parallel to the when coastal the wind region. is blowing in this uh, arrow the red color yellowish arrow, color is the coastal see. region when the wind is blowing what so happens? this will be parallel to according the movement, to that, movement the, of the water also will be parallel right. to the coastal and region. this is called the and movement of when the wind is blowing in this arrow the red color arrow this arrow is shore region is when the wind is blowing what happens okay Splash. According and to that, along the with that, there moves, is a right. After and this moving, is called and there is a water backward to movement the, of water as well, right? So that is shore called region is backward. called splash. Backwash always perpendicular okay. to the coastal area. And it along is. with that, you can see this is the dotted lines are moving. Backwash. And there is a so whatever the backward the movement of water as well, right? Is the area so that is called this is a water moving backwash always perpendicular to the coastal area. So this is causing the erosion. So whatever the road and material, so you can see this is the dotted lines of the back taking wash. back to the so whatever the by the help see, of the swash is back the wash. area. Okay, mm -hmm. this is the water moving up, right? So this is causing okay. the erosion. So, so it's a combination of waves and long long shock current. Taking back to the sea, this is acting as a transportation back wash. Major transportation okay. of the sediments through the Okay. Ocean or sea so it's a combination of this waves long and current. long okay. long shore current. Act Got it. This is acting as a transportation, hmm? like major transportation of the Got sediments it. through the ocean or seashore actually. is be yes, because no, of yes, this no. long shore current. Okay. 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 Got it. So the next hmm? is a rip current. Rip current is Got just it. opposite. This is when it is parallel. The actually. offshore current. Yes, no, long yes, shore no. current is parallel. But okay. drip current is perpendicular okay. to the shore. You can see so this is a the beach. next beach is shore. a rip current. And rip the rip current, current is, is perpendicular. To this is when it is so parallel. Uh, the mainly this current. rip current is, current is parallel. The, but it is taking the perpendicular to the shore. ocean. You can see this okay, is, this is how the rip current shows. And the rip current is Got perpendicular. It. And it is powerful, so, very powerful uh, as compared mainly to the this rip previous current is one long shore current. They are it is taking the sediments into the into ocean. Fast moving water. Okay, this is how the rip current acts along the coastal region. Got it. And okay. it is powerful, very powerful as so, compared to the this is for the long shore current, current, so current. Which they is also narrow, causing powerful transportation, fast the transportation or the that are formation of different along the coastal geomorphological landforms. The next is the tide, you so know. There this is, is where the long shore current, tide, so which is also the high tide can transportation, the mainly the transportation of the formation of different sea level will rise and cause geological erosion. Sometimes it the next for is the, the tide, you know. Well. There is a while the sea level is reducing. Tide, that is the high tide can high current and low tide. How so it is low tide? High tide can be tide. Sea level the road and material some for erosion. It is depositing as well as it is withdrawing. Right. While the sea level is reducing, that is the right. high current and low tide. The tidal so the current tide, right? transport tide large tide. amount of sediments. Whatever the eroded and material may erode bedrock. It is depositing so as well as it is withdrawing. So, and right. the rise and fall of tides distribute wave right. energy across the shore zone. The tidal shore zone current and transport the large amount of zone. sediments. Shore and zone may erode bedrock. Area so where it can the erode water, bedrock as well. Uh, the beach so, and, and the, the rise and fall of tides. Distribute wave there. energy like, across the shore zone. I have zone. told you about the swash and the back term, short backwash, zone. right? Shore zone means that so that is a area zone where the water, zone. Uh, the beach and the you heard little the amount of south zone water is there. Like I'll show you all. I have things. told you about the swash and back backwash, so right? This is how the tides. So are. that is a zone. And next is the gravity. Zone. Obviously, gravity also plays have a you heard important the role in the coastal zone. process. Process in the sense formation I'll of different land things. It is directly involved. See through the downslope. So this is how is the tides and continent. And next is the gravity. Yes, are you getting gravity? What I'm talking about the continent. Important role in a coastal continent process. Continent process, process and the sense formation of different landforms. It is directly involved. See, if you are not understanding, the tell me. There directly. is a portion continental shelf. You are, are you getting what hmm. I'm talking about the continental shelf, continental so slope, and all? Okay. Hmm? Then tell that it is understandable. If you are not understanding, tell me directly. Okay, gravity. So, to, through the downslope, mm -hmm. the because of the gravity, so the sediment will be okay. transported towards the downslope. That it so is that's how the gravity works. Okay, gravity and climate so, obviously climate through like the downslope temperature all this the, layer because of the gravitational the force the sediment formation of transported kind of plant towards the downslope. So that's how the region. gravity works. So let's. 
the cost and climate obviously climate like the position and erosion and temperature all this play is what we are going to discuss in the so in the process of erosion the major coastal coastal erosion process are so let this attrition hydrological landform included erosion and erosion and abrasion or corrosion so what we are so tell me discuss. what is attrition so in the process of we have erosion, discussed about the major coastal coastal erosion attrition. process are this attrition, so attrition is hydraulic a, action corrosion and abrasion or corrosion so tell me what is how, attrition how attrition we have discussed about this the friction movement so attrition in the waves hit the so attrition is a smaller no, particles no, no, no. settled out and the No, no, no. Attrition a... is not that. Attrition how? is how attrition when the waves carrying different particles, the, the particles will be collide each other and the... smoothen, right? It is an energy like this. It, each other it will collide. No, no, no. Attrition is not that. So that is called attrition. attrition. When so the waves carrying the different, different particles, sediment particles. particles will be collide each other. And next and is the hydraulic action. Right. Hydraulic it action is, is what see, like this. It each other the way will collide and smooth it. With its power, so that is called bedrock attrition. So it is for the erosion of that bedrock. Sediment particles. This is how usually the. And next is the hydraulic hydraulic action. action. Hydraulic action is so in the base of the sea, wherever the, the water way, can reach. It will be with its power. It hits the bedrock and causes for the erosion of that bedrock. Right. That is called hydraulic action. So it is a process is. involves so the in the base of, of see wherever the water can reach it will be so having a the corrosion corrosion has it will exert a force on the rock corrosion and roll, is right? nothing That's but a chemical action, action, action of sea okay chemical so it is a process involves the force sense. of water uh, sea water can dissolve it has an acidic so, nature right the corrosion so, corrosion have you heard as if it if it all acidic nature but it's a chemical this action water can sea. easily okay chemical the action of sea like this limestone uh, chalk sea water can dissolve it's kind of an acidic calcium carbonate all so, this uh, rocks can easily it, erode if it all acidic nature this water can easily i have discussed already because of the rocks the, like uh, limestone chalk bicarbonate chalk, ions this kind of right. calcium carbonate all this Uh, so the rocks can corrosion. easily eroded by this corrosion activity and next is the abrasion i have discussed already because of what that, is difference uh, of abrasion and hydraulic bicarbonate action? ions right okay so that abrasion is called corrosion. corrosion is when the and next is the abrasion waves abrasion carry what is difference particles? of abrasion and so this, hydraulic action this particle itself it, it hit the base of the okay. cliff for abrasion so or corrosion it is when across. So the, because of that wave the erosion will carry be taking place the wave throw so this particle with this particle the these particles in this which are the particles the rock, base of the, the water is carrying the rock so that will be hitting across. against the rock so because of that causing the, the erosion will be taking place the wave throw hmm. this particle against and the rock i, I want to ask you one thing in the sense okay. which are the particles is the it should i the water is the, carrying like speed so that or something or should i reduce against the rocks and causing the abrasion like i'm talking mm-hmm. about the class and i i want to ask you one thing okay is it should i increase the like speed or something or should i reduce yes. it you guys are listening huh? to me or what yes like, ma'am i'm talking about the class so i'm asking should i yeah, or this space is fine like going in the space yes ma'am there is you guys are listening to me or what yes ma'am okay this is so okay. i'm asking should i Yeah, or okay. this space is fine. Okay, fine. So going in this space. So the coastal erosional yes, landform. So let's see. Look at. So the, these are the major coastal erosional process: abrasion, corrosion. Okay. This uh, is okay. Okay. Man. Hydration and attrition. So okay. these, these are the major okay, processes. Okay, fine. So the erosional coastal process. erosional landform. So the major see. erosional so landform. These are the major coastal erosional process: abrasion, corrosion. Wave uh, cut platform. Hydration and attrition. See, so these, these are the major sea processes. Stack, See erosional process in that stumps. the major yeah. erosional so landform can do the headland kind of bay, platforms sea cliff so wave cut the platform. erosional shoreline features sea are this arches, this sea stack, shoreline in the sea cave the and continental slope this region okay. sorry so let's continental look at the region different it kind is of extended up to around so 2000 the erosional okay. shoreline features so are ex- this this is from the shore to the shoreline in the center this will be extending the slope continental region. shelf sorry continental shelf so let's look into the it is extended landforms. up to around so one is a 2000 this is meter, a headland okay. so, so it's ex- 
from the show the headland means meter this will be extending in a coastal the region shelf. so this so is a clear cut the picture of an head different headland. landforms so in a so coastal region, region headland. you know there is an alternate land. so different types of rocks in the see, coastal the headland region. means a very vast region in a so coastal region if at all there is, is a, a clear cut picture of region head, headland mm -hmm. so in a coastal in region plain, you know okay. there is an alternate different types of rocks in the coastal region right it is a very region made up region. of salt or some other so, laterite if at all there is a so the clay minerals region, or clay rich rock easily can be eroded by clay, the clay, wave activity and there is right a, so that area will be forming a region Making made up of salt or some other like a bay kind of structure that so the clay minerals bay. or the clay okay. rich rock it is like easily, easily eroded by region the will be wave activity into the right continental so that area will be this will be surrounded a, by three side of the bay like a bay kind of structure lands. that is what called bay. right this okay. is a bay it is like easily and three sides of the bay will be extended by the land. continental region and the headland and means this will be whichever the region surrounded by three side of the bay will be surrounded the land this is right. very resistant this is a bay. right so and the that is sides of the bay land. will be surrounded by land so and headland the headland and means which are the region which is projected in the definition of ocean headland because it is surrounded is by very resistant of the right is surrounded so that is called headland the ocean right so headland and so bay that is headland headland and sides of the headland always def have a definition of which headland is it is uh, surrounded by the three side of the uh, headland sorry the slope of the headland is called the ocean right which is projecting towards the so that is headland and so sides of the headland or ocean side a slope so that is called is cliff uh, mainly made up of bay is a body of water the slope of the headland is ocean or cliff lake. so it is a body of water which is projecting towards which is connected to an ocean ocean or lake ocean side formed so by that is called cliff indian indonesia a bay of is a body of or large bay may be called ocean or lake okay large so it is a body of see, water for all this is a connected bay to is large then it is ocean or lake and formed the by headland indian you understood right which are the of shoreline area, or large bay into the ocean and okay, just surrounded large, by see if at the all this water, is a, that bay that is, is called, large then it is called gulf. headland and the headland you understood right which are the surrounded area, by yeah which is projected into sides. the ocean and just surrounded by the yeah. water then that is called okay the next headland. is the sea cliff so sea cliff is i have told you already this is a picture of surrounded cliff, by water where on it is sides. a most widespread landform yeah. of erosional coast area okay. the next is a known as sea cliff so sea so cliff, sea cliff is, is i have told can you already be, this is a picture be of sea eroded, cliff where eroded portion, it is a which is projected towards the most wide sea side or beach of side is known as coast cliff area are sea cliff known as sea cliff okay. so sea and cliff these is an area are very steep be, to can vertical be eroded so it can eroded be steep portion, which to is projected towards appearance you can see this side or beach side very steep it is cliff right this is a sea cliff picture from vulcanite it is a cliff and these are very steep this cliff to is vertical bedrock cliff. so it can be you, steep have you heard of the appearance mineral you can see this is very steep it is right this is I a double picture from vulcanite is a m -E -N -I -T. from vulcanite and this cliff is very important because uh, titanium you, rich have you heard of the sands okay mineral titanium ilmenite ilmenite minerals are called ilmenite titanium oxide it is M so this Varkala cliff is, a, is, a, is having a uh, titanium, lots of titanium rich deposit actually sands in okay. India. Titanium we can, we rich can only find in minerals are called in titanium in titanium oxide mineral deposit. So this Varkala cliff okay. is a is so having a there are lots actually, of titanium the, deposit. Along with the fossils in India, India there are we can, so many titanium can only of find mineral deposits. Usually titanium titanium thorium mineral deposits are found along with the coastal region. So there are actually so uh, this is the, what uh, along with the, the sea cliff region there are so many types of uh, mineral and deposits. And next is a very good plateau. Titanium, thorium so mineral deposits are found, found along the coastal Explain how does it region. Forms. Okay, this, this is a so this is what about the sea cliff. You can see this is a cliff, right? And next is cliff a wave cut platform. Down portion is the, so the wave ocean cut platform. Area. So because I'll of the height, how does it and abrasion? Okay, this, this, this is a base of the cliff will be eroded, right? 
so you can see this is a cliff right wave cut cliff notch in down portion into a cliff cut a headland area. portion especially so because the of the hydraulic portion, action see, and which is projected into the sea base having the cliff a will be eroded, abrasion right? or the hydraulic so base, action carve in the at the base notch in so this will be a cliff cut a headland the, portion especially in the headland portion see which is projected hello. into the sea having a abrasion so this will be causing an hydraulic action at the base of in the, the at the base Flat so point. this will be sorry at the base of the, the cliff and gradually because of the erosion the Hello. upper portion of the headland will be so broken this will be causing and an erosion fall into at the, the base of the sea right this will be flat broken flat. and fall and sorry at the base the of the cliff and gradually because of the erosion will be forming right when the upper portion of the headland will be and the sea carries the fall into the by the See, transportation right. this will be broken so and this is how the base of the headland will very vertical see the upper portion is right when it is uh, upper portion is collapsed and the, and the sea carries the debris away by the platform, transportation right, structure right so the base. this is how the because base of this, this area will be eroded and you can see the upper portion is called platform and how does it and the base will be visible if it is platform level is rising right so the sea level is because decreasing this like area will be eroded and is affected rest of all the this kind of structure will form this is a wave platform. platform platform and how does see, it you can see visible this is if it visible the because sea level is the sea level is like sorry the sea level is the decline decline or the land is called erosion right after this kind of structure will form so this is this features associated when the sea is called this is visible because the sea level is like declined or the land itself uplifted that is called erosion mm -hmm. right uplifted land forms so this is this features associated with the land okay. uh, see so this is, is how the wave, wave cut, cut platforms, platforms are forming clear. i hope you are clear and another is sea caves so mm -hmm. sea caves are also formed by this hydraulic action or the erosion so this is the how the wave cut platforms are sea or coastal area where the cliff and cliff another portion the down caves. portion of the cliff is so eroded sea caves and forms a are also cave. formed if by the erosion can be because of the, any of the erosion, of the erosion. Of the maybe hydraulic action or sea or coastal region so whichever the where the cliff, cliff the cliff portion, portion the down portion of the cliff is eroded, eroded and, and forms a cave it, the erosion can be like a cave like structure. any of the erosion so that is called maybe hydraulic caves. action or corrosion okay. so, so the which are caves are formed in the cliff by the wave portion. action of portion and the sea cave occur on almost every cliff headland like a usually. cave like on headland so that is called area sea caves almost every headland okay. so the sea caves kind of pattern the cliff or by the sea wave caves will be portion. developing and the sea cave and occur there is another almost every called sea archer headland usually so continuous on headland of the area or almost every headland leads to the this kind of section that area will be completely eroded and form and oh, there is another call of pattern right called sea archer so that is called so continuous erosion of archer the sea cave sea archer is a natural to the open intersection that area will be completely like eroded and form is developed oh, because of the call of pattern erosion. right so that is called okay see arches so yeah sea archer is just, a natural just a, open i mean just arch like form is developed because of the continuous erosion okay just just a, okay so the sea arches are fine right so the next landform is okay so the sea, sea arches are fine right so the next landform is sea stack yeah you guys are there right huh are you guys are there 
Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you guys are there, right? Network issue. Okay. I was checking, huh? It's not network. Are you guys issue, are there? I intentionally, I did. <laughs> Now, but you are responding. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Anyway. Network issue. So, okay. Please tag me. It's not network issue. Actually, I intentionally tell me one person you have. Now, but you are responding. Anyway, Tanvi had said that she will not be able to speak. Anyway. So, Karthik, today is your chance. So. C stacks means tell me how does C stacks forms tell me one person you have to tell yeah anyway tanvi had said that she will not be able to speak about sir ma tell kartik today is your chance ha huh? yeah see not c r c stack i'm asking yeah c stack about sir ma ha huh? Yeah, C, not C R, C stack. I'm asking, C stack. Do you know? No, ma'am, I haven't. Actually, studied. C stack. Okay, fine, fine. C R just you understood, right? When the wave cut, K. K when it is continuous, you know, this arch like formation will form. No, ma'am, I am sure. Actually, it will C form on the hairline. That is called okay, C fine, arches. Fine. C arches, right. arches, you understood, right? When the so wave if cut, at all, the C K, arches K when it continuous is continuous erosion, 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 eroding, this then arch this like formation will thumb like formation structure will form on the hairline. That collapse. is called C arches. And form a right the structure. So that so is if called at all, the C arches undergoing continuous erosion. Then this. thumb like formation this upper yes, portion sir. will collapse okay. and form a c stack so the another structure. is so that is called the c stack stump or c stump call it as got it stump so continuous erosion of the c stack yes, so stack is like a pillar like c formation stack. in the so c. another is so if at all continuous the erosion of the c is c or stack then leads the formation of c stump or portion so will continuous be continuous erosion and of form the like c a c stack uh, like so in stack is like a pillar like formation in the portion is called c stump so if at all continuous erosion of the c okay. is c stack so will lead to the formation of eventually c. when the portion will be distended and form like a is like that by the or collapsed portion c the base of the stack will be attacked by the waves right Okay. So this will be lead so to the formation of stump. Eventually, stump. when the structure is weakened, structure so of the stump, how the different is formations attacked by the. So this is what I was describing, uh, right? See, the base the of the stack will be attacked so by the, the headland. Head right? There so is a this will be lead to the formation cave. of stump, right? right. right. Stump. So no, this no, is no, how no. the different formations. Firstly, this so hydro because describing. of the hydraulic right. action, there See, will be a small is a headland. Will be developed. So in headland, the later formation of this is become large and forms caves. So if at all the caves, firstly this hydro because of the hydraulic action, uh, there will be a small opening. Will be this will be intersecting or later on form a arch like formation. This is become large and forms that is caves. So if at all the caves is right, continuously so undergoing arches. Arches. any so uh, sea like arches, if at all this was a sea arch, this will be intersecting and the or top cutting and form a arch like formation. Arch like formation. Sea that is called then later the base of the sea stump sea cave. again it is undergoing right. continuous Sorry, sea hydraulic arches. action right so sea so arches leads to the collapse of the arch sea stump and the top of so that collapse leads to the formation of a sea stump then later the base of the sea stump again it is undergoing continuous hydraulic action right So that leads to the collapse of the entire sea stump. So that so let's leads look to the into the so the these are these are about the stump. different erosion landforms. So let's look into the coastal deposition okay. landforms. Okay, I go. I so hope you one have is a got beach, all, this, all the stumps. Then bars. So let's look into the then so these the are barrier these are about island, the different Tumbo erosion landforms. So Pe let's look into the coastal deposition land sand dunes. So one is a beach, actually, sand dunes, then parabolic bars, dunes are all. It is a then the barrier land island, the beach, tumbol. So when it comes to the coastal erosion, land, deposition, land from that one comes. 
but still Blow when it is in, in, in a beach geomorphology i have all, mentioned this it this is a deposition land parabolic dune lagoon so when it comes to the coastal erosion land bomb, deposition all those things that let's look come. into that but still all when it is in the so in, beach in is a beach, a, you know it is geomorphology i have mentioned this features on blowouts of a post parabolic dune so there are different types of beaches there are cusp color beach which is all those things let's look into the deposits of terms so beach is a you know it's a dimensional Illuminate features on on a mineral you know, right, thing. Right. So there are different so types of features. There are black color, black sands, color beach or black color mineral. So which is called deposits of black color sand. The il, which I said illuminate or illuminate. And there is another you know, different right, types right. of beaches. So those Shelly are the black color the sand composition, black or color minerals. Beach. So which is called sand will be having black color shells and also throughout the this will be called or Shelly beach. And, and there, there is, is another quartz, different if at all quartz, quartz is beaches, more the shelly beach if at all the rocks will be forming composition so or the beach, according to the sand will be having a nature of shells and beach. also this will be uh, called nature, nature itself will change and there is a right. quartz the deposition if at all beach quartz is deposition quartz, according to the water rocks will be forming so according to the according to that composition or nature of the nature itself the beach composition nature itself will change right the deposition beach in the and sense next is a barrier according island. to the water so barrier water island the are deposited this is what the beach of a barrier that, island the so nature is actually, actually the beach composition it's a depositional features if at all sand and, and next is a barrier island along so the barrier island coastal this is what the picture of a barrier so usually island. in the bay so mouth. this is okay, actually bay. mouth if at all there is it's a, a depositional by features, features which is not at all the sand and all the landing on It is isolated, coastal. but it's, it is on a usually bay in the bay. So that mouth. is called a okay, barrier bay island. Mouth. Usually, usually made up of sand, sand by deposit, which particles. is not. You can see it is not connected to the land. Okay. Right? It is isolated, so, but usually it, it is, is formed a, because of the bay mouth. It can be so that see, is called a barrier island. It can be formed because of the tidal made up of sand and parallel to the silt particles, coast mainland coast. Okay. Okay. They usually occur in a so. Chain usually it is formed because of the few it can be to more see, than it can be formed of, because of the see, tidal see, action see if at all there is a so many sands bars or main land coast sand bars are okay they usually so occur in a chain consisting of usually because of the tide or it can be than a form because of the long shore current see if at all there is a so many sands bars what was it i said sand bars it is a so sand bars which is what is it flowing parallel usually because of the tide or that can also causes for the because formation of the long barrier shore current island. as well long shore current you got it what what was it i said long shore and current next it is, is a spit current so spit is, is a flowing long parallel narrow to the coastal region right is so that can also causes for the formation usually of barrier island usually connected to the mainland so that is called this and is next is the spit So this so is how the is a long narrow ridge land is here is a is a sand deposit usually of the connected to the Main the spit will be deposited. So that is called. This is okay. as well. So which is connected to so the. This is how the ridge, mainland. Land is that here. That is called. This is sea. Spit. Towards the sea. So if you not understanding how current, okay. the spit will be depositing. Okay. A spit so is a is narrow to the long sea ridge. Ridge of deposit. The material that is called that extends from the mainland. So if not understanding, sea. ask me. Okay. So that is called spit. And there is a another. It is a narrow, bars, long bar. Ridge of sand bar is a very similar material to material actually that extend from the, the mainland. The is, it sea. is it so is also is connected spit. to the mainland. I will show the and there is another term called bars. Bars sand bar is a very similar to okay. spit actually. The difference is it is. It is also connected Here, to the mainland. In this case, you can the see the spit will be it. this smaller portion. You can see right. so that is projected okay. towards the sea side so that is called spit if at all spit is growing here and in, in covering this case, the mouth of the spit will be this then smaller portion you can see so right? that is called so that is projected sand bars towards the sea okay, side that is a so lengthy that is called spit spit which is parallel to the shore line if at all spit is growing is called sand, sand bars covering a mouth of a okay. bay or something got then, it which is connected so that is called sand bars Okay, that yes, is a lengthy spit. Okay, that is called which is sand parallel bars. to the shoreline. So the lagoon, sand bars. if at all, sand bars are developing. Okay. So continuous sand bars. See, imagine this is a instead of barrier, 
barrier okay. island this is okay. a that is called sand is growing and continuously so the lagoon depositing. if at all and this leads to the formation of lagoon so continuous sand bath this bars, entire see, area imagine is blocking this is a separate barrier is forming, barrier so island that is called is continuous pit is growing and continuously okay, the depositing and this leads to the formation of so the lagoon is the separate water body is blocking and the sea separate water body this is how the sand so that is called lagoon it is parallel to the coastal region okay, right coastal lagoon so, and it is enclosed got it like so attached to the mainland so it can enclose water body from water the sea but this is form it. It. see this so is how the sand water body is called it is parallel to the coastal region right so and it is enclosed like attached to the mainland okay. so it can enclose a and water this can be lagoon can be developed not it. just because so that of the sand water bars. body is it called. can be because of the coral reefs or something is deposited what? you know coral reefs also depositing in a shallow water okay. region right so because and of that this can as be well, lagoon can be developed not just lagoons because can of the sand bars. it can be because of the coral reefs or something is deposited you know coral okay. reefs also so this is how the thing in a shallow uh, water region this is a sand bar so because this of that spit, as well so that you can see the difference lagoon so can sand bar, develop right this is a bay spit is smaller portion which is connected to okay. the land so as, this is how the, the spit uh, is growing this is a sand bar closing or this is a spitting like so a barrier you can see the difference of spit and lagoon. sand bar right this is a bay spit is smaller portion Bottom which is connected to the and land there is an another as, as the spit is which growing is known as and it is enclosing or it is acting tumbola. like a barrier and actually this is how it is lagoon because what is it uh, actually this is also a deposit and of there is sand another bars. depositional it is features which is known as tumbo area have you heard this term of sand bar which is connecting actually, to this is how it island is occurs. with the what is it uh, major land. actually this is so also is a deposits of sand bars it is a okay area or deposits of sand bar which is connecting to the island with the major land so that is called tumbola so this is what lagoon Okay. Barrier island. So all these things you clear, right? We have discussed it. Beach, tumbola, wave cut plat platform is clear, right? So this is what lagoon, barrier island, and lagoon, ba barrier spit. So, all these things you clear, so right? We have discussed. We have it. covered beach, tumbola. So this is wave another cut feature. Plat platform clear, is clear, right? right? What all we have discussed it clear. Yes, lagoon sure. barrier spit so the next is the so ridge and things. runnel we have covered. actually ridge and runnel is so are this the is another feature deposits which clear, is right what all we have discussed on the clear beach side you can see the ridge yes, sure. as are like a sand so the deposit. next is the ridge and, and runnel are actually, some actually ridge and runnel are, are called runnel deposits so which is can, uh, runnel are the depressions on, the on a sand beach. side you can on see for sure as are like a sand area is a beach And runnels are so some depression in the be beach called, itself. Runnels. There is a depression. So see, can, so that uh, is called runnels are the depression on a or sand. Sorry, runnels on foreshore. And foreshore in the sense that foreshore is the beach. Known as the friend or deposits of so sand within the beach are known as itself. Ridges. If there is a depression, so that is called. It's mainly due to the tidal. Or, sorry, runnels, ridge and, and the runnels are depositing or forming because of the or deposits of sand. Tidal activity are known as ridges. Okay. And another is the sand dunes, it's which mainly due to the tidal axis because we have ridge and uh, discussed runnels. Which is a major uh, or coastal sand dune? Can you tell? Uh, major coastal tidal sand activity. Dune. Okay. And another is the sand dunes, which I don't have to explain. I guess because we have uh, discussed. Which is a major hmm. coastal sand dune? Can you tell? Major Please coastal sand dune. Please respond to me. No. It's a sand dune. I'm asking, which is near to the coastal region. It forms in a crescent moon shape, ma'am. Half crescent. Please, yeah, exactly. No. That is called parabolic. It's a sand right. dune. I'm asking. So this Which is, is a picture near of to the coastal region. Parabolic dune. So this is parabolic dune. It's just like a crescent it shape. It forms in a crescent moon shape, ma'am. Which is formed in a near coastal region. Yeah, exactly. That is called parabolic dune. Horns right. are the points. Will so be this is a picture of it. Wind parabolic dune. So that so is called parabolic dune. It's just like those things are. 
associated with the coastal region. And which is formed in the near coastal region. And, and salt marshes also the associated horns. with the coastal region. Actually, the this is like a wetland condition. Wind water direction. direction. So that Delta is called parable region or mud flat. So those, flat, those things are which is having associated with the coastal region. Combination of uh, and salt marshes also associated with the coastal region. Or sea water. Actually, this which is, is like a contained wetland condition. The ions will be more, right? Delta region or the ionic content of the which is having a be high. So this will be leads to a formation of the salt or marshes, sea water, just like a marsh. Which is contain mostly which is the ions rich in the more, right? iron content. chlorate. The ionic content of the salt water. And this will is be nothing high. but a cusp. So this will be leads to a beach, formation of beach the salt marshes. Like just like a deposition, like a marshy land. Like uh, it has a horn, rich in the just iron content. Like a pointed and and this is nothing but a cusp, beach well. cusp, like a, beach, just beach like a cusp headland, is like a deposition, like uh, right? it, it has a horn or a beach deposit, just like a pointed So what is the speciality, this horn, which is pointed towards well. the like coastal uh, region, just like a headland, a but actually bay and is headland, made up of right? coarser it appear, material, but it is a material beach deposit. Gravels and pebbles. So, what and is the speciality this towards this region? Which is pointed so this, towards the coastal You must have region seen this is a the seaside. Common feature of the is the made up of coarser material. Coarser material, mainly this okay. gravels and pebbles and all, will be towards yes. this region. So, this you must have seen this is well. a common feature associated okay. with the coastal region. Ponds and embayment. So, this is what. Okay. Actually, this is this Clear. and all not so much important, but still, That's wash well. over fans means okay. If at all there is a tidal Horns activity is taking place, or the sea so level rise or something is taking place, the Actually, water this is this and all not so towards much important, but still, wash over fans means which side? If at all there is a, a tidal activity side, right? taking place, so in that or the case, sea level rise water or something is, going going is taking place, side, the water for a will be flowing fan like a, structure. Towards the beach side. Towards so beach that side. is called wash over the fan. beach side. Okay, right? fan like so in that case, sand, at all water that washed over a barrier side. island will be causing be for a formation of fan. The, like how barrier towards islands are the beach forming, side. I have told so that is called right wash over fa fans. How okay, is it fan like land form of sand? That washed like a over a barrier bar island. Barrier so if at all the sea level rise, the, or how barrier storm islands are forming, storm or something I have told you. Place in that right. region in a barrier island. So the water will be flowing towards that side, towards like the beach a side, sand right? bar. It is. So instead, instead of coming sea level rise or any side, storm activity, storm or flowing towards the beach side, in that so that will in be a barrier island. The, so the water will be flowing towards that this side, kind of formation towards the beach towards side, that right? side of fan like deposits. Instead so of coming instead of opposite fan. side, it will be flowing towards the beach side. So that will be causing for the this kind of formation towards that side of fan like deposits. So that is okay. called wash over fan. That's it. This and all not so important for you guys. So this is have mentioned, right? Headland stack, all those things. Okay. So this okay. that's it. This and all not so important for you guys. So this is okay. Have mentioned, clear. right? Headland stack, all those things. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, then enough enough for today. Okay, so clear. This is almost it's about the coastal topography. Sorry, coastal geomorphology. So that's it. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, okay, then enough enough for today. So this is almost it's about the coastal any, topography. Any coastal sorry, or any coastal geomorphology. You guys are so that's having, it. You can ask me or text me. If you can't ask, you can text me. Okay. Any any question or any doubt you are you guys are having, you can ask me or text me. If you can't ask, you can text me. Hmm? For now, no doubts, ma'am. Okay. Uh, go through the uh, materials and if at all having any doubts, come back to me, okay? Okay then, thank you.